Influenced by African culture from her many travels on the continent, Maria McCloy infuses African-inspired prints to create shoes, clutches and accessories. Her travels on the continent, coupled with market visits with her mother, has played a role in the kind of jewellery and bags Maria designs. Her love for African culture and tradition is reflected in a collection which incorporates different colours and unique designs, and mostly made from the continent's fabrics. Maria McCloy brand is um, all about Africa, it's all about African aesthetics, it's all about um, African history of design and talent and craft work and um, things we all associate with our history. So when you look at my shoes and you look at my necklaces, you're going to remember maybe your mom tying you on the back with a piece of material like this. Um, whether you live in West Africa, or East Africa or Southern Africa, you're going to see a Sushoshua shoe and it's going to remind you of your heritage. You're going to see a vendor shoe. Maybe you're going to see Chitenge and think of your country or Kanga, think of East Africa, Kapulana, you're going to think of Mozambique. If you're from Nigeria, you're going to see the cloth and think of Ankara. And so I think people see my brand and it touches them in a way because they grew up with this cloth. McCloy started out selling earrings to her friends. Now she has her own space at the workshop at Newtown Junction in Johannesburg. She's one of the advocates of buying local and therefore contributing to the country's economy. When you look at the shoes, they're all an amazing. You can put this next to any brand in the world and you'll be proud. Like It's well made, it's amazing, it's made in South Africa, it's made in Africa, and that's important. Um, a lot of us are tempted to go east or to go to other countries, and I believe also it's all well and good to be building my brand, but we need to br build people, so you need to employ people and you need to keep production here as much as you can. Operating from the heart of the city, McCloy says, as a pan-African city, Johannesburg inspires her and her brand is a reflection of that. As much as the cloth is pan-African, so is Joburg City, and that's what I love. Like, my necklace maker is from Tanzania, and another necklace maker is from Joburg. Another necklace maker is based in um, Soweto. Why wouldn't you want to put our awesome African heritage on yourself? So I put that onto my accessories. McCloy also sells her accessories online using social media to attract foreign buyers. Yodi Sanjamela, CCTV, Johannesburg, South Africa.